Police reform remains at the forefront of a national debate, as some are arguing to increase funding to law enforcement. This comes as multiple shootings are reported in areas of school and social unrest that is, including Seattle's Copfrey Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone over the weekend. Our White House correspondent John Pellegrino has more. Speaking before a roaring crowd in Tulsa, President Trump once again vowed his support for the men and women in blue on Saturday, citing their work in maintaining law and order on America's streets. In 2018 alone, our police arrested nearly 12,000 people for murder and manslaughter, 25,000 people for rape, and nearly 1.5 million for assault, violent assault. The Democrats push against our police will drive up crime and drive up costs at levels you'd never believe. As president, I will always support the incredible men and women of law enforcement. The announcement came after a particularly violent weekend. The New York City Police Department reporting 22 people shot. This just a week after the city announced it would be disbanding its plainclothes anti-crime unit. In Minnesota, the epicenter of the defund the police movement, one man shot and killed as 11 were wounded in gunfire early Sunday in a Minneapolis business district. Syracuse, New York, seeing nine injured in a shooting there, and Seattle's lawless Capitol Hill autonomous zone, one dead and another with life-threatening injuries as protesters blocked police access to the victims. Senator Tim Scott, who authored the GOP-backed police reform legislation, appeared in an interview on Sunday pushing for the use of additional funding to influence law enforcement behavior. We believe that you actually need more resources, not less resources. If you want officers to be trained effectively, you have to give them the tools called training to get there. That requires more resources. We know that if you want more information on the federal level, that requires more resources for record creeping, record keeping and for data collection. The Senate plans to vote on the Justice Act in the coming week. Jen Pellegrino, One America News, the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.